Divin AI review. Hello guys and welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to present for you the Divin AI and how it is going to change the game of coding and developing. So it is developed by Cognition Labs. It is marketed as the world first fully autonomous AI software engineer. While it has generated significant excitement, real world tests show mixed results. So here we're going to present for you the pros and cons of the Devon AI. Basically, it is going to be a platform that has a, the uh, autonomous or the fully autonomous uh, software engineer capabilities. Let's talk about the automation and code generation. Devon can autonomously generate code, create project plans and handle bug detection and fixes, reducing the development time and effort. Now for the second pro, we have an integration with human developers. So it works collaboratively with engineers providing updates and suggestions rather than operating in complete isolation. For the automated testing and deployment, Divin AI can generate tests and deploy applications, improving development workflows. So that means that you're going to have some automations created instantly within the platform and it is going to be fully automated or fully um, independent. Now let's talk about the limitations that we are going to find on Devon. So the struggles with the complexity. While Devon can handle small tasks like bug fixes and simple integrations, it struggles with a medium to high complexity projects, often requiring human intervention. So it is not going to be fully autonomous like they have said it is going to be, but it is going to get the help for only the complex tasks. So it is also going to be inconsistent or the um, non-consistent performance. In a real world test, Devon successfully completed only three out of 20 assigned tasks. It frequently got stuck in technical dead ends, took excessive time, on simple tasks and sometimes pursued solutions that were outright impossible. Now it is also going to have a difficult setup. Users reported that setting up Devon development environment was cumbersome, requiring better options for preloading configurations. Also, there is no simple way to preload configurations like an example Docker files or choose from predefined environments. This makes the onboarding process unnecessarily complicated. Now, it has also an AI hallucinations and lack of reliability. So, Devon sometimes hallucinates non existing features or continue trying solutions that won't work. So, they have some dead ends. For instance, when asked to deploy multiple applications on Railway, a platform that doesn't support this function, it spends over a day trying different approaches instead of recognizing the limitation. Now for the ethical and security concerns, like all AI driven coding tools, Devon raises questions about the job displacement, will AI reduce demand for junior developers, which has or required to uh, accomplish or accomplish simple tasks. Now for the secu security risks, how does it handle sensitive code bases? For the code quality, also it is going to raise a new question as the AI generated code may introduce new vulnerabilities. So here we are going to find the final verdict. Should we use uh, Devon AI or not? So Devon AI is going to be good for small, well-defined tasks. Example, bug fixes, code refactoring, basic feature development. Also, it is going to be used for automations of repetitive coding tasks, assisting human developers rather than replacing them. It is not going to be suitable for medium to high complexity projects. It is not going to be fully autonomous uh, software engineer uh, or replace the uh, fully autonomous software human engineer development. And it is going to be here also not suitable for cases where accuracy and reliability are critical. So it is going to have a medium overall rating. 
for the innovative here but flawed devon ai is an exciting advancement in ai assisted coding but is far more uh, or far from being a true ai software engineer so in here we have uh, found the uh, final verdict so it is going to be only used for simple tasks not complex tasks because it is going to find or put some vulnerabilities uh, for the coding that you're going to have the database on. Also, the Divin AI is not going to be free, so we do not have a trial, but if you're going to get started with it, click on get started on a Divin.ai and you're going to here set up some text or uh, put some Slack intervention in here. So it is going to require you to have Slack and it is going to give you the access to it or GitHub, for example. Then you're going to be setting up the uh, plans. So as you can read, to work with me, you will need to purchase a plan. This subscription is going to be $500 per month. So it is going to be including the unlimited seats and etc. Also, they have the access to the Devon API and Slack in integration and IDE extensions. That was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.